Hello everyone. Welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about role of nines for burns for estimating the total body surface area. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the session. The learning objectives we will be discussing in this video will be what is rule of nines? Why is the rule of nines important? What is total body surface area? How to estimate total body surface area using the rule of nines? An example for performing calculation using the rule of nines. Let's get into the session. What is rule of nines or Wallace rule of nines? The rule of nines also known as the Wallace Rule of Nines. The Rule of Nines is a method used to estimate the total body surface area, TBSA, affected by burns. This tool what actually does is it divides the body into sections, each representing approximately 9% or multiples of 9% of the total body surface area. This method is widely used in emergency and clinical settings to assess the severity of burns and guide the treatment. The rule of nines is primarily used to assess the partial thickness that is second degree and full thickness that is third degree burns. These type of burns are significant enough to require medical intervention and fluid resuscitation when compared to first degree burns. Now, why is the rule of nines important? First is rapid assessment. The rule of nines allows quick estimation of burn extent crucial in emergencies. Next important reason is guiding fluid resuscitation. Accurate total body surface area estimation helps calculating fluid needs, thereby preventing under or over resuscitation. Next important reason is determining severity. The burn extent guides treatment decisions such as the need for specialized care, surgery or intensive care. Now, let's have a look on what is total body surface area? Total body surface area is a measurement used to estimate the extent of burns on a patient's body. It is expressed as a percentage of the entire body's surface area. Now, how to estimate total body surface area using the rule of nines? The rule of nines breaks down the body into sections, each assigned a specific percentage of the total body surface area. And they are, for head and neck it is 9%, each arm carries 9%, and each leg 18%, anterior trunk that is front of the body is 18%, Posterior trunk, that is back of the body, is 18%. Perineum, that is genital area, is 1%. Note that a patient's palm is approximately 1% total body surface area and can be used for estimating patchy areas. You can easily memorize this using 2, 9 and 3, 18. Now comes... Steps to estimate total body surface area. Let's learn this with an example. A patient has sustained burns affecting the entire left arm, anterior trunk and both legs according to the rule of nines. Calculate the estimated total body surface area. What do we do first is identify the burn areas and assign percentages. Now as per the example, left arm is 9%, anterior trunk that is front is 18%, both legs are 18% each, so adding both we get 36% total for both the legs. Now calculating the total 
body surface area burnt will be total body surface area is equal to left arm plus anterior trunk plus both legs which is equal to 9 plus 18 plus 18 and plus 18 which gives 63 so the total body surface area will be 63 percentage let's make it more simple with another example a burn victim has sustained injuries to the head and neck anterior trunk and left leg what is the estimated total body surface area using the rule of nines as mentioned before the first step is identifying the burn areas and assigning percentages so as per the example head and neck will be nine percentage anterior trunk that is front will be 18 percentage and left leg is 18 percentage to calculate total body surface area is left arm plus anterior trunk plus left leg which is equal to 9 plus 18 plus 18 which gives 45 in total so the total body surface area burnt will be 45 percentage simple isn't it now few examples for your practice Estimate the total body surface area for a patient with burns covering the entire back, both legs, and a small area on the right arm according to the rule of nines. Next example, calculate the total body surface area for burns covering the entire anterior trunk, both arms, and both legs according to the rule of nines. You can do the calculation and mention the answers in the comment box so so far we have discussed what is rule of nines why is the rule of nines important what is total body surface area how to estimate total body surface area using the rule of nines and few examples for calculation using the rule of nines so here you go with rule of nines for burns if you find this video useful, please like it, share it, and subscribe it, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.